Hello everybody, my name is Megan, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up all of your files to be cut on a laser cutter. Hello everybody, my name is Megan, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up all of your files to be cut on a laser cutter. Now this isn't going to be how to design for the laser cutter, I will be doing um, live streams showing some of that, but mostly it's artistic and up to your own interpretation for that. But um, the things that we're going to be going over today will be things like uh, how to set up your line weights and your stroke colors, um, and how to get all of your information from your computer over into the IMRC's computer, which is the laser cutter that we're going to be using for this tutorial. Um, that's the universal. All right, so let's move into the illustrator part of this tutorial. We're going to need to have a new workspace opened up. And the best way to set up your workspace is to set it up to the size of your material. If you don't know what the size of your material is going to be, the best way to set it up is to set it up for the size of the, of the laser cutting bed, which for the universal laser cutter is 28 inches by, or sorry, 24 inches by 18 inches. You do this to make sure that you don't overcut or you don't make your project bigger than it should be. So after we set that up, we're going to go down and change the color mode from CMYK to RGB. We're doing this because we're going to be working with RGB colors for our stroke colors so that the laser cutter can actually read them. So now that we have our workspace open, we're just going to create a few simple designs so that we can demonstrate vector cutting, vector engraving, and raster engraving. I'm just going to make a few medallions with my my logo on it and then I'll come back and we can talk about how I'm setting the stroke weights and what I'm setting them to. All right, now it's time to set some of the colors here. So as I said before, we're gonna be vector cutting, vector engraving, and raster engraving. For vector cut, we're gonna need RGB red. And I'm going to make the outside of this medallion that I'm making RGB red. Um, so go to my color picker here, turn everything else down but red, and turn red all the way up. And then you've got RGB red for that specific cut. Uh, and then we're going to need to set RG, or RGB blue for raster engrave. Um, I'm going to be setting that on the outside of this of my logo here so that we get a nice crisp outline on it. Uh, and again, similar with RGB red, you turn blue all the way up and everything else all the way down. And then we're going to be doing the same thing to this little outer circle that I created. Now for raster engrave, raster engrave is really easy. All you need is some shade of black. The darker the black is, the deeper it'll cut in, but it will never cut in more than, uh, I want to say a couple millimeters. I don't, it, it's not that precise, but it will not, it won't cut that deep no matter how dark you make it. It's just the lighter you make it, the less it cuts in. So now that we have this little creation here, we're going to copy and paste just to get more than one on the field. And you should really pay attention to how you are laying out your designs in your workspace. Because remember, this is going to be your material. If you imagine as, as if you're putting this on your material, you don't want to waste material by making it so disorganized that you have all these extra pieces left over. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bunch things close enough together so that they don't touch, or close enough together so that they almost touch, but not exactly just to save on material, and that way we can move over to the laser cutter and we can actually cut these things out.
Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the screen on the lab printer or lab cutter, uh, so I'll just kind of explain a little bit about what I did. So you upload your Illustrator files onto a USB drive, you bring it into the IMRC after making a reservation to use the laser cutter, pop it into the computer, take your files off, take your USB out, and then open your files up in Illustrator on that computer. Once you've done that, you can go up and print. It should already be set up to set, be sent straight to the laser cutter. Then you open the laser cutting program. When you have the laser cutting program open, um, depending on what material you, you use, uh, if you go into settings and then up into the corner, there's already preset materials. Go and look for something that's very similar to what you have. Um, I was using uh, plywood. Uh, I use the medium density fiberboard setting. Uh, it can be a little too hot sometimes, which might be shown afterwards here. But again, it's a lot of trial and error trying to figure out what settings work best for you and your material. So always do test cuts. As you can see in the corner, I did a couple test cuts beforehand. Um, just try to do a couple test cuts. That way you won't be disappointed with the end result. Alright, so that's just about how you set up your files in Illustrator to get ready to go to print. A little bit of tips on the computer and the IMRC side, but again, I wasn't able to actually go on and record anything on that computer, and I didn't want to make you guys watch a terrible, terrible screen recording. So, again, things to remember, colors. Make sure your colors are set to RGB red, blue, and just straight up black. Um, Again, RGB red is vector cut, RGB blue is vector engrave, and black is raster engrave. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is make sure your stroke weight is 0 .001. I'll put, a, I'll put a tab in the video, of course, just to make sure you, I get that across, because I'm pretty sure I didn't say it. Um, yes, 0 .001 is very important, or else the, print, the laser cutter won't exactly understand what you're telling it to do. Um, so in the end, we got these interesting little medallions. Uh, I had a little problem on my end though. Uh, it looks like I accidentally laser engraved the boxes that kind of held them together. So uh, again, trial and error, not a big deal. Just probably costed like 50 cents to make. So it's a lot of it is trial and error, and a lot of it is making sure you do test cuts. Um, I did a test cut just to make sure that it would cut through the wood, but I didn't do a test cut on this first. So, again, just keep working at it, keep making, keep innovating. Thank you for watching.